What's up, everybody? Here at Divine Comedy, we're committed to bring you the best entertainment around. So a couple weeks ago, I found myself on the sideline doing a very important game. How did I get there, you ask? Well, I found out that if you have a really cool-looking headset, you can do just about anything you want. <laughs> Hi, this is Will Rubio, Divine Comedy here, and we're here with the BYU cheerleaders on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys teach me a quick cheer? I served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Canada. Hey, I'm in that church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm well, nice to meet you. I'm well. <laughs> so, uh, gloves. Oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, how it vibrates the saints go marching in. I've never been uh, kissed by a cougar. Can you guys help me out with that? <laughs> I'm here with the with the brass of this operation right here. The uh, saxophone player. What do you guys think of that? I think it's pretty telling though. They have rainbow flags. Oh, what does that oh, mean? Oh, what does that mean? I'm not the same. Ladies, I've never been uh, kissed by uh, people in the band. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in the middle of many youths right now. Tons and tons of youths. They have feathers and, uh, and the white and red, like the blood of savages. She has a tongue ring. Um, This is my interview with Utah's injured star wide receiver John Madsen. Now keep in mind I'm filming this thing on a small digital camera, but this guy's spouting off cliches like he's going to be on Sports Center. Let's count how many he can cram into one state. What do you think you have to do in the second half to keep up uh, winning or to, to close this thing out? Uh, rivalry like this. I think the biggest thing is just keep our poise and keep chipping away. You know, get points. How we can do it? Uh, our backup quarterback Rob is doing a great job. Our defense. display of American patriotism, and love for our country, and bad, bad uniforms, and uh, a ruthless, unsensitive exploitation of an Indian tribe. He's a pretty big guy. Look what he's doing right now, though. That's kind of disgusting and impressive for a big guy. I remember this. I was scared to death. I was in the middle of a bunch of fat guys that could kick the crap out of me. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a joke? Is that guy's name Petit? Are you kidding me? I mean, the only thing bigger than that guy is Joel's ego. We're in the Utah student cheering section, otherwise known as the heathen section. Yeah. 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 I say, hi, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. like that, yeah. the, yeah. I say, hi, There are a bunch of, it's a drunken brothel over here. I don't know what's going on. What's this guy's shirt made me mad. And then he pulled out another one, which totally crossed the line. Can I talk to you for a second? Can I have to say anything? Hi, uh, are you pretty excited about this game? That's how uh, these mascots express themselves. They are, they are very vocal with the movements and stuff like that.
That was the gayest mascot I've ever seen in my life. Gay. Adjective. Showing or characterized by cheerfulness and lighthearted excitement. Mary. In the end, I learned a lot that day. We may have lost that game, but I got 18 numbers. And they can never take that away from me. Ra, 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 Goku.